So. Well, I think you have a presence, and you know, you you could say that you are a leader from Hawaii, and you're representing the people of Hawaii. That's right. And so, it, whereas it might have been easy to ignore a pretty little lady, uh, right. I don't think you would allow it, right? No, oh no, you can't. Uh, your 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 attitude, your posture, and the issues that you support have to be in the forefront if you're going to make any difference in Washington. So it's, it's a struggle, but it's a challenge. Well, I know you did your homework, and you were in the office all, all night, it seemed. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was, and the challenge, too, is the time change, you know, because there's six hours difference between Washington and Hawaii. Uh, and in a way, it was a very positive thing. I could leave a message on the computer in the evening in Washington, and it'd be picked up in the morning in Honolulu, mm -hmm. so that we could converse in this way, we could beat the time change and use it f to our favor. Mm -hmm. So it was, uh, it was exciting. Oh, well, that's great. Oh, how do you see the future for um, women and, and uh, well, Republicans, we're both Republicans here in Hawaii and uh, nationally. Where it's, it's not a really good place to be right now. You no, know? Not, not now. It's, it's pretty tough. Economically, everything is uh, tense, shall we say. But I just uh, heard of a report that Ma Maria Shriver, uh, the Schwarzenegger's wife, put out in collaboration with some other people that they found there are more women in the workforce than there are men in the workforce today. Which makes it very interesting because the employers are going to have to take a look at their staffs and understand that if they have more women working for them than men, they have to be more, shall we say, imaginative about the working hours, about the time off, about health leave, about leaves for taking care of children. Um, it's it's a whole new door that you have to walk through. And I think this is very positive for women. At the same time, too, there, there will be the challenge of pay. You know, if a woman is earning more than a husband, mm -hmm. uh, we have a curious situation here. Mm, that is interesting. Yeah, but I think men are beginning to accept this, don't you? They're uh, accepting the fact that uh, a woman in the family can earn more than he can, and that he has to share in the uh, the daily duties. I notice that there's many house husbands these days. Yeah, and uh, a lot of fathers are uh, a lot better at sharing uh, with the chores. Yeah, and that makes for a firmer family. I think that adds to uh, sharing of the burden, and it is a burden to have to stronger partnership. Yeah. Uh, a part, a stronger partnership would uh -huh. be better way of putting it. That's true. Well, so maybe your your sons are better husbands and fathers. I think so. I think the men of today are much more open about this, and I think they're willing to share, because times are tight, things are tough. Uh, one has to perform, and it's easier with a partner mm -hmm. than it is with a subservient other. I notice my uh, daughters and daughters-in-law are demanding a little bit more of their, their husbands, and, and my, my sons are stepping up yeah. and doing their share and pulling their load. Same thing as, with mine. And they're raising the, um, kids. helping to raise the kids, yeah. which probably wasn't the case back when <laughs> I had mine. Oh, heavens no. <laughs> heavens no. It was not like that when we were, when I was beginning a family and uh, sort of burdened with the old style. Mm -hmm. And then when my, my girls, uh, they really did not see a glass ceiling. Um, you know, one went on to become a psychiatrist, med school and a psychiatrist. So uh, obviously she just w marched ahead and did what she wanted to do. Yeah, yeah it's like my, my daughter who wanted to become a veterinarian. I said, veterinarian, do you know how hard it is to get into veterinary school? Why do you want to go into veterinary medicine, she says, Mom, you told me a long time ago that I can be what I want to be, <laughs> and I will pursue whatever I want. Uh -huh. And I said, yes, I guess, I guess you're right. Uh -huh. You're taking my words 
as the truth. Yeah. And it is. It is the truth. So you have a son that's a physician and a daughter that's a... Uh, two girls. A daughter who's a physician, too. Also. Mm -hmm. So uh, they're on their way, but uh, you're right. They, they do have families that are far different from what it used to be mm -hmm. in the 50s mm -hmm. and the 60s. So uh, I think they should look at the possibilities. I think they, they do hit some glass ceilings uh, politically uh, from time to time. Yes. I mean, it's not a uh, straight shot to the top. No. Hillary, then, Hillary Clinton tried it, and she almost made it. That's true. So you see, uh, women have others that they can look toward uh, as setting some uh, goals. And uh, I think there is no, no limit to what a woman can do. Well, I think you're simply uh, proof of that yourself. I mean, coming, f having come from uh, a state that is strongly Democrat, and you have succeeded uh, c quite well. So I, I congratulate you. And, um, um, you know, I, I think that um, there's a real good future for uh, all the immigrant, immigrant groups in Hawaii. Yes. They just simply got to... Um, get them enough education. That's right. And so I, con I am concerned because uh, the educational system seems to be uh, faltering from here and there and maybe too many furloughs uh, at this time. Oh, yes. But I, I think that if um, people arm themselves with enough education and training mm -hmm. that they can get ahead. They sure can. They yeah. sure can. It's an individual thing. If they set their minds to it and they pursue it with the right, uh, shall we say, insight, they can accomplish it. It's, um, it. it's also very interesting that women today have a whole different attitude, uh, and I hope that doesn't change. I hope that they can think positively and move ahead on their own, if necessary, to accomplish what they want. Nationally, it is interesting to see so many women in the Congress now. Uh, like I said, Hillary running for president. We have um, women governors like Linda Lingo. And it seems party is not that critical in the decision uh, of voters. I think they will always look at the character, the sincerity uh, of the candidate. And, uh, you don't have to be bound by ideology to the point where you commit political suicide. At the same time, you don't have to give the store away by uh, leaning over backwards to uh, favor your own personal constituency. I think you have to stick to the issues and the value of the issues and how it affects the general public. And women can do that, I think, much more easily than men. Oh, well, that's... Uh... <laughs> I do think so. That's a clarion call to all the women out there to uh, try and get into leadership positions yes. and, and lead. Yes, and, yes. And um, uh, do a, a lot for themselves and their families. Right. So, uh, okay, this is a good example for us to follow. So I'm really glad that you were able to be with us today. And, um, you know, do you have any parting comments for the... Um, uh, young people of today. And the yes, let's keep Barbara Maramoto in office. <laughs> I think that's very important uh, because Barbara, you've done an outstanding job and the people in the district know who you are. They know what you've done and they have great trust and faith in your leadership. And uh, I certainly look forward to your many more years of service. Well, thank you. You know, I think I've learned from the best. Uh, I worked in uh, for uh, Fred Rolfing, as you could recall, and uh, I did one stint, one session with John Carroll, and then I was able to work for you That's in right. the Senate Minority Office, which was uh, a great place to uh, work with several senators. That's right. It was a good opportunity to um, to look at ideas. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And from there, I went into uh, the Constitutional Convention and ran for the House. That's right. So thank you. You've been a great example to me. Oh, Barbara, anything for you? Oh, super. Okay, well, you know, we've got to leave now, so I, I've got to sign off. And it's been just inspirational to be able to speak to uh, former Congresswoman Pat Psyche, and she is um, a stellar example. So I bid you aloha.